Hey folks, Ray from Love you RV. So I'm back with my longer term update of this Guta uh, tire pressure monitoring system. Um, looks like I installed and reviewed it September 9th, 2021. So I've had a number of months of using it. We took it down uh, when we went down south. I used it for all my towing down there. So I, I guesstimate it's pretty close to 5,000 miles of towing and I've had no issues with it at all. Uh, much like the easy tire uh, pressure monitoring system I had before, uh, it's perf that performed well, and I actually didn't have any major problem with that. Um, I just wanted to try this one out, mainly because it goes uh, for about a hundred dollars cheaper than than the easy tire. They almost look like kind of copies of each other. So I imagine easy tire sources their stuff in China. And this is more of a Chinese company just uh, distributing through Amazon. You can see here they have four sensors, six sensor, eight sensor, 10 and 12. So quite reasonable prices. Um, they also came with, a, right there you see this, it's a tire uh, extender for it. So if you have a really long trailer or RV, you might need that extender. Some of the other monitor systems, that's a, an option that you have to buy. This is included. I personally didn't need to use it at all. I have my rigs 45 feet long and the thing never cut out or I didn't have any problem with uh, with range or anything like that. All my sensors stayed locked solid. Uh, the one downfall this company is they're mainly just an Amazon seller. So you may have a problem as far as support goes. Uh, they do have a website that I found called guta-tech.com pretty basic site here um, I can see down here there's a China address and it says us dash support uh, at goodatech.com I imagine being they seem to be a pretty uh, consistent seller on Amazon they seem to do quite well so quite a few ratings and stuff so I'm sure they probably would be interested in, in taking care of you because they don't want to lose their reputation. You can see here they even have a 15% off coupon right now. Anyway, I thought I would uh, show you the display, how it looks after usage, and I'm gonna pull all the sensors. I have the eight sensor system, and we'll pull them all off and see what kind of shape they're in, and check out the actual state of the batteries. Funny enough, I didn't need to replace the batteries, so that's uh, going on probably about eight or nine months now on the set of batteries. That's one thing these seem to have a larger uh, um, actual sensor size, but they have a bigger battery versus the, the one I had before, the Easy Tire. So maybe that's why the battery life was extended quite a bit. So here's the display, still working in good shape. One reason I like this one is it's very basic. It just has the, the liquid crystal display and there's no color or anything. Um, so it's a lot better. Like right now we're in full glaring sunshine and I can still see it. I've reviewed other ones before that kind of had a, a colorful display that was backlit and they would wash right out in full sun. So I kind of prefer this, this simpler one. Um, as far as a suction cup, it's worked. It's fell off a few times, but not really too much. Stuck on there pretty good. I think in probably our six month trip, it was uh, falling off maybe three times. I just had to reattach it. Usually if it gets really, really hot out, sometimes it'll fall off. Charging, hardly had to charge this at all. Like you can hardwire this, but I didn't need to. It has a charging port on the side. And I like that this model uses the same, uh, I guess it's a mini USB or micro USB, same as your phone. So you can use any kind of charger, like a phone charger or a USB to, to mini USB charger. And it's nice and small. You can see it's still working good there, showing all my different tires. And I like the temperature and the PSI. I didn't have any warnings other than temperature um, my tires didn't have any problems the whole trip but there was one time I was pulling a grade coming out of Palm Springs on Interstate 10 headed east there's a really long grade 
And I guess the temperature, outside temperature, was around 85, 90 degrees. And uh, during that pull, the, the motor, you know, gets pretty warm when you're going up there. And I guess a lot of the, the big fan was on and blowing a lot of hot air onto my uh, truck's passenger side tire. And that thing crept up. And I have my actual temperature warning set quite low. I have it at 110 Fahrenheit. And it got up to 113 Fahrenheit and it went off. So it was kind of nice that it, it does do that. I especially like that, that it does it for the trailer tires. So if I ever get a bad brake that's, uh, you know, dragging brake or one of the bearings is ready to go, that uh, that wheel will get hot and that, that aluminum wheel will transfer to the tire pressure monitor and kind of alert me that something's up with one of my tires. Some of these uh, things you get, they're kind of preset at 165 degrees, but this is one that you can you can customize what you want the, the warnings to be. So I had a close look at each sensor. I don't see any signs of water intrusion or corrosion. So I guess the little O-rings worked fine as far as weather because uh, we went through a ton of water in the Pacific Northwest <clears throat> and encountered a lot of uh, dust storms in the in the desert. So worked out fine. I went through and measured each of the batteries. They're all right right around like they all measure three volts but just over three volts about 3.02 or that sort of thing which means they probably still have some some life left in them i think uh, after i finish the summer here i'll refresh them with new batteries they just take a, a cr 2032 which conveniently is the same battery that my propane monitors use so I'll be able to repurpose these, burn them up using them in the propane monitor and get fresh ones for my tire monitor system once we head south again in the fall. But yeah, so it looks like a winner to me. Uh, like I say, the only drawback is the support may be lacking. I don't know, I haven't had occasion to do it, but they don't really have a fancy website like some of the US-based companies do. And uh, so you might have a little bit of a a lag or a problem with support but if it's worth the the extra savings you might save about a hundred dollars or so off compared to some of the other brands anyway till next time ray from love your rv any questions just give me a, a question in the comments cheers folks